Dad! Dad! Why was the dog in the trash in the first place? Well, at least it wasn't sunny. Is this scene all too common in your home or work farm kitchen? Kim and Nuke Waste kills up to 600 sentient beings and tamed beasts daily. Keep your kids and pets out of the hazardous chemical and nuclear waste disposal in your kitchen with safe tea dispose. Only $475.95. Warning, this product has been banned on Earth. Zelesta, Moons 1, 3, 6, 7, and 10, as well as Saturn and its moons. Penalty for illegal consumer goods is death by Tap Zarpa. Call now. Transfer code 21X67. Fold them up. Sick tea dispose. Good day. In all the hill. Zola. Zoshmux. Supreme God of Bon Zuck. Shunos! Boy, yeah! I beat a corn to fry! He's gonna put on the car! She comes the fry in the bar! She's back for fall the bar! WPR World Public Radio Special Report Future History for the benefit of all mankind. Citizen, if this is the radio program you wish to hear this evening, place your arm slash barcode under your computer scanner now. Scanning. 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 The scanning sequence is completed. This radio program is value priced at 5 calories with a 1 calorie news and knowledge tax added by the propaganda czar. With a special message. Citizen. The program you choose to purchase can have consequences for you and yours. In the event that we deem your knowledge purchases to be too numerous, you will most likely get a visit from a representative of the knowledge propaganda and truth unit of our One World Severe IG campus. If it is deemed that your Levine G cubes hold too much alternative or radical knowledge you will be jailed and executed with your family being turned over to the slave markets. Do not learn too much. Thank you for your purchase and enjoy the program. Life tax, the monthly household oxygen bill, your family's sustenance tabs or injections, mortgage, power bill, and of course the rent. Need calories? The Walmart Army Warehouse Loan Agents are licensed to get you the most calories now for your hair. Plasma. Time. Future time. Eye. Eyes. Kidney. Any one branch of the heart. Any one lobe of the brain. Don't worry. You can trust the Walmart Army pastors, agents, and entities with all your needs, even disposal. Walmart Army brand self-contained bioelimination habitats are the perfect way to ensure that you will avoid the hellish nightmare of the body yards being your final resting place. Do you want your loved ones safe from scavengers, necros, and worse? 
A personal Walmart army bioelimination habitat is the only way to go. Your choice of over 100 warehouses to be certain you'll rest safely inside as long as the earth remains. As long as you get into your Walmart Army brand biopersonal elimination habitat before it is too late, we can guarantee your final remains will not be tampered with in any way. Walmart Army Warehouse Brands. Nobody competes with us. Nobody. Now, why not try life in one of the safe all-new Walmart Army brand neighborhoods? This program has been paid in full. You will receive your purchase receipts re-re-receipts in a moment via your electronic mail carrier slash provider. It has been duly recorded in our database that this program was paid for in full by legal world citizen sit sit sss citizen lector so fox a t swain the second of living quarter nine a three fox trot delta five deuce main run straight city of new shores two six three num 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 number two five a dime on the island land mass of mexa california Subplot G12 on the holy ground of His Honorable Highness the Great Lord Del Yosquito. Legally paid by calorie interchange. Notice. Recording programs from any radio, telescreen or hollow cube device is punishable by a swift and mightily slow and excruciatingly painful death. So it is written in the Reborn World Constitution of 20,035. And so it shall be known by those now living, those now born, and all born hereafter. Hail Yosquito. His ideals prosper us. Any information pirates are thieves. Knowledge is not a right. It is not free. Any citizen or family of said citizen copying satellite radio or any form of transmittable information will be killed or donated to the slave markets. Thank you. Your selected program will begin in 5, 4, 3, 2. Interfacing begin. America in the 20-teens is a real mess. After the false flag and resulting military strike of 2018, the U.S. was hit with a massive solar flare acting as an EMP to shut down any and all electronics not hardened, which was almost everything not military. All global trade stopped. Civilization went to pot. The FEMA camps were activated and filled up fast. For the citizen that didn't get into the camps, life became hell. Jails shut down and prisoners went free or starved in their cells. Entire neighborhoods taken over by gangs, raping and pillaging like barbarians. No law whatsoever. Huge increases in black market and local crime. Breakdowns in public health, plague, well, so on and etc. Massive smog caused by the burning of New York City and the quote accidental nuking of Denver caused a small ice age during which we went through four years of civil war, a presidential assassination, and a severe and extremely violent state of martial law. So the big question is how? Do we know this now? We have with us Dr. Hans R. 
an expert in the technology that makes our program Future History possible. Doctor, could you please explain to us just what this device is we will be using to achieve this extraordinary feat of journalism? Uh, um, well, uh, no. I cannot share the most minute tidbit of information on that matter. In fact, I cannot even declare that such a machine does exist indeed. All hush hush top secret, you know. Very well. That is totally understandable. Top secret information for which you need a very high clearance to gain access. So secret that the penalty for sharing any such information is execution by a firing squad. Uh, that is correct. But I can safely say that the technology does exist or we wouldn't have the most interesting Go out, out, Oh dear Blasted fool Oh well Tut tut Loose lips sink ships as they say Now I assume the interview portion of the program has come to an end. Very well. Good day, my esteemed colleagues. Future history, wars, famines, pestilence, and all, all the events that shape our society, our history, and our home planet. This is priceless knowledge, and we can see it all now. Your source for the news before it's news. World Public Radio's Future History. We shall return in a moment. This Saturday on WPR, DOA with the NWO by way of CIA and deathbed confessions with reverse speech EVPs Saturday night at midnight be there WPR brings you future history bringing you truth now and then special report and we are back. Now we go to a topic we have been secretly collecting data on for months. Future history for knowledge and to avoid unnecessary catastrophe. As you all know, with the release of the NDAAM, all talk radio is at an end. We estimate anywhere from another week to maybe a month. After that, the ham guys, that's going to be a federal offense. If radio happens to be your hobby, you are now a terrorist. 
and if they see you, they will kill you. Let's get back on track here. This week we make a jump with our staff chrononaut Sven Junvalo to a report from 2032, Life After Car. Over to you, Sven. Large chunks, too messy to hide. God, this is terrible. Cut, cut to. Hey, start, start, talk, go, go. Oh my God. Oh shit. He just. Uh, uh, good evening, folks. Oh, and we are back. We apologize for our technical difficulties. Uh. Um, so this week we make a jump with our staff chrononaut Sven J I'm sorry, our uh, staff chrononaut Jerry Smithy to year 2032 uh, for an exciting report on life after car. Thanks, Ray. Jerry Smithy here, somewhere in America, year 2032. Uh, now, to start off this report, we first have to get one huge point across. Automobiles will become obsolete. Soon. Now, as you know, I'm not allowed to get into any specifics as to why or how the history goes down, but... Anybody can just about use an Apple Time Pad these days to see damn near anything they want. Am I right? <laughs> so you can fill in the blanks by searching on your Apple Time Pad trademark. The terms 2017, false flag, uh, anarchy, civil war, um, uh, yeah, so. Uh, this leads us to Future History Report, Life After Car. Now, um, somewhere in the late 20s, the world government decided cars had to go. Uh, not all at once, mind you. We got one damn year to figure it out. Oh, too specific? Uh, details. Too details specific. Sorry. Go on, keep talking. We'll hit it in editing. Go on. Okay, here's a sound bite. Um, Miss Omi, at number 11, please. So the government sends troops around to, quote, buy everyone's cars. Ha! Mine old pal, Ramey, Gets 500 for his year 19 Apple go car. That one what could drive itself. Brand new. And he has to take it. That was made perfectly clear it was. Take the money, the man says. And rest his hands on his damn blaster. And 500 was the most. Oh, my mother. She was rolling over in her urn. The car she dated my father in. A mint condition. 1985 Volvo. And when you turn in your car, you get your cable number. And if you ain't got a cable number, you don't skide. And two people ain't fitting in one saddle. Now remember, you ain't talk to me. I'm one of the last ones alive what remembers those years. 
been avoiding those death panels nigh on 40 years I have since I had a heart attack at 45 while unemployed. You want to talk about some sick, real sick, twisted shit? Let's get into those death panels. Ah, uh, okay, thank you. Well, that's one opinion. So, from what I can gather, all cars went away by 2019. There. There was not any reason for an individual to have their own vehicle. The lines go everywhere. The U.S. Army Department of Engineering built the nationwide system in 2019 on through 2020, completely finished in 2022. The very basic, impressive, all-steel cable system Skyway was initiated using our existing ancient interstate inter system made by the Eisenhower administration back in the 1900s. Here's a sound bite from Coast to Coast AM, a popular radio program from 2016 in the last days of free airway radio. Army engineers say that in the future it's possible that due to pollution cars could go away for good. No comment on air travel or trains, boats, motorcycles or mopeds. The system would use low wattage electricity and a simple system of cables capable of transporting small trolleys, one-man capsules, and large ski lift type two cable limos capable of transporting as many commuters as a typical city bus would. Now, while they say you're not going to have to give up your keys anytime soon, they do plan to start this project as soon as funding is approved and Madam President puts her official stamp of royal decree on the whole deal. So, enjoy your Sunday drive now, folks. It won't be long until we are all walking. That was classic heroic veteran radio host George Nori, who was the first one to break the news that cars would be extinct. A report that cost him his right eye in an assassination attempt at a UFO conference in late 2016. And I might add, that was one of the three last free online radio outlets, period. Along with Alex Jones, who was shot to death in his studio, defending his right to free speech and refusing to turn off the signal on the set date and time of January 25, 2018. And then, of course, there was Glenn Beck, who had government support until the end, was basically a puppet reading from a script from Madam President and had a very graceful and fake but patriotic goodbye from the free radio air days. Now, we'll pause for a quick break and be right back for our future travel segment. This very costly endeavor is brought to us in part by Delta high-speed travel tubes. Travel in the safety underground at 500 miles per hour in the lap of luxury with Delta high-speed tubes. We offer stops from every continent with travel times less than a quarter of that of airlines. So fast you don't have to worry about jet lag or a tasteless microwave airline dinner. One end of the world to the other. Ah, 30 minutes or less. Delta High Speed Tubes, we get you there fast. World Radio is back with future history. We are now in the year 2032, waiting at one of the line stops throughout the bustling metropolis of Birmingham, Alabama. At one time, this city was on the brink of dissipation having dug up and used all the natural iron ore 
the main natural resource all over the area used for making pipes, iron structure supports, almost anything. Then the University of Alabama at Birmingham stepped in. It began growing and soon half the city was the home of the southeast's largest and most technically advanced hospitals. It set the standards for health care and even changed the definition of hospital and added a new breed, the medical oasis or sterile city in a bubble if you will. Once the medical university had acquired five square miles from the city center to every direction, north, south, east, and west, they obtained all the necessary licensing and funding to create an all-encompassing, sterile, synthetic, malleable glass, like bubble over the entire campus and city, thus making Birmingham a sterile environment with no pollution, no chemical rains. The rain is a special filtered water with all natural nutrients added for the flora, which showers down from atop the dome at carefully scheduled intervals. Basically, a city in a bubble perfect for healing, surgery, young and old alike. And this complex dome creates tons of jobs for the citizens of Birmingham who are not in the medical fields. Chittis L, a soldier for the local Birmingham, Alabama Urban Militia Ground Squadron, gets up at 2 a.m in order to prepare himself and get on the local line. That's it. One word. Line. It's the equivalent of bus stop, you know. Individual stops generally aren't guarded or manned. It's all robotic. I assure you Big Brother is watching every single inch of the line. The price for Chittis to take the local lane four miles to the next main hub is five C's, which is about two bucks of our 2015 money. Chittis has his own personal one-man skyline claw and saddle set, but they do have them available for rent at most line stops. Now here's an old lady waiting here. Let's see what she has to say. Hey, little young man. It's a hundred C's, but you get back seventy-five when you turn it in at your drop. And there's a discount program for seniors and soldiers. And, uh, oh yes, vets and chronos. Thank you, ma'am. Now, Chittis steps up onto the platform, pulls the claw cable out of his saddle, reaches up, and it hooks over the cable. Make sure all locks are secure and get ready, because as soon as you sit down, the magnetics take over and you're gonna take off. Here's Chittis. I don't, uh, I don't know, man. That idiotic Satanist, Madam President, pulled another, quote, terrorist attack on the U.S. They made a draft. People went nuts on the poor old Syria. And when we came home from all that war bullshit, minus 25 good grand good damn American lives, all the fucking cars were gone. All that shit, all those lives, all the damn lies just to get to fucking I'm sorry I'm trying to stop all that cursing but what the hell just cause they thought if we was all here we'd stand up against Uncle Damn Sam taking away our transportation they gotta blow up a dang huge city post office 
Then get all us fighters out of here to take the fake ass damn enemy what done it. Well, piss on that. A big fucking fountain of ever gotta say for how I feel about them lies. Piss on them turds. The local lines do about 20 to 25. But outlaws and underground races have made modified units that can easily do 200. Now I have to hook up and saddle up beside Chittis. We're doing a type of line riding called balling, due to the fact that two saddles and riders hooked up to one another look vaguely like a set of testicles. Balling is illegal, except for military and the police. But exceptions can be made for invalids and babies, though the authority highly recommends that persons with disabilities use only public transit, and children up to age 8 that have not yet been indoctrinated should stay off the lines altogether. You ready? Chitta seizes over into his saddle, and he was right. As soon as he sets himself down and his weight hits the pulleys, the cables grab hold, and we take off like a shot. We are going very fast, very high up here. I am getting frightened and dizzy and sick. Stop! I yell. But I know we can't stop now, not in the middle of the line. He warned me about that before we left. I try to get to my sick bag. I miss it. Oh, terrible. We stop at the next drop point so I can get wiped off. Normally, an unscheduled stop like this would be cause for great scrutiny, including searches, maybe detainment, maybe even on the spot execution, depending on what you're caught with, is not unheard of. We try to stick to our set allotment for cable designation. You're only supposed to be on the cables at your allotted time. Whenever you need to be going to work, coming home, going to church, which is usually at your work now, and to get to your monthly commissary trip. It's four miles to Chittis Drop Line at the main line hub in downtown Birmingham. About five miles, five minutes trip depending. Chittis prepares to approach the platform at his stop. He slowly breaks about 20 feet away. Then at about 5 feet, he unhooks his claw, lands on the platform in a run, and quickly stops himself. This is not a regulation dismount. He hops off the platform and folds up his claw and slips it into a sack. Here comes the nice old lady we spoke to. So let's see a regulation stop. Looks like she did end up renting. It's a simple saddle and hook type system from the second civilian model line released by the US government. When the lines were first opened, there were very few travelers except those who had no other choice and had to commute for work or for the freight trucking industry, which is its own bombshell story and there were several accidents, a boost to the system at this point. The main lines are the cable system that run the old interstate systems. The highways do still exist, although they've been heavily modified to discourage any illegal wheeled vehicular traffic. Oh, you know, tire spikes, booby traps, pits, mines, and walls. There is still a lane for the military and officials, but anyone caught on that gets gone quickly and legally under the NDAA. WPR World Public Radio. More fact than you wish to hear.
please play Clip R5, Miss Duna. Hey, the UFOs them guys got. They are not. I repeat, they are not. Not machines as we, we know them. But time travel or interdimensional travel devices like in now. Living in a damned game. Now, if that ain't the Antichrist at work, I don't know what is. Up next, we test and review the Game Boy Deluxe 3D game deck with Medieval Plunderer and Sim Rape included. Stay tuned.